and welcome back to the Monaco Master League. In the last episode, we hit January and we made three big signings. Schurz, the centre-back, the big man, Adeyemi on the wing, and Thiago Almada as an attacking midfielder. So three signings so far, a few outgoings, but nothing too serious. As well in the last episode, unfortunately, we did get knocked out of the Europa League in the group stage. An embarrassing European campaign, but it is what it is. Now we've got to focus on the league as we sit in third. And now we've been a bit out of sorts. I mean, the form has been very hit or miss. In front of goal, we, for some reason, can't score the easiest chances known to man. But it's a new day. It's a new episode. New signings are in. We've got a lot of quality on the bench. Obviously, planning on making a few more signings as well. A few more outgoings, if it all goes our way. But it's time to kick off this episode with a 3-0 win. That's my prediction. Nice build up. Enrique, can you get the ball in? Uh, uh, yeah, that wasn't the target. That was not who I wanted to cross to, but it's a good start. Good build up. Oh my god, let me control. Let me control the player that should get there. Come on, come on. None of this today, please. Adiemi picks it up, drives through the center. Adiemi, this is great from him. Play him. You're, you're joking. You're actually kidding me. He's delayed the pass, and that's the quality. Adiemi, come on. I get it, you're a new signing, but geez, I expect better here. Good ball. And you may. And bolt. Shoot the ball. I mean, you've seen the power bar on your screen. I've told him to shoot. He's decided no. Halftime, Nilo. I mean, we've been dominant. But the times have gone into the final third. I mean, Mbolo's going to shoot maybe another day, I guess. We've always had problems in the final third. The last pass is awful. The last shot is typically awful as well. Getting there's not an issue. Nice ball, Enrique. It's a good ball. Mbolo's nowhere to be seen. Nice. Beautiful play. Adeyemi. No, it's a good save. Thiago and Adeyemi linking beautifully there. Oh, my God. That's excellent. Yes. God, how is this? This is the final ball. It's always the final ball. It is always the final ball. Come on. Oh, it's at the post. You're joking. The football is so good. And it's just that final ball. Like, it's got to find Mbolo. It's a goal. Good set-piece opportunity here for Monaco. Enrique with the ball in. Someone's leaping. Hit it. It's in. It's Minamino. He's been on the pitch for 10 bloody seconds. And Monaco get the goal. They absolutely deserve. We've been so, better than the, so much better than these guys, man. Great hit. And we will take that all the way to the back. Thank you. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not doing this. Oh, yes. No, we're like, we're not doing that. Nice. Nice. No, that pass is awful. Minamino. Olivine. Back to Minamino. That's excellent. It's Minamino. It's going to be a goal. How is... The... Are you joking? How is that possible? How has that not got in? I mean, we should have had four actually beautiful goals today. We really should have. But we'll take the three points, and we're getting off the mark today with a good result. I mean, it really should have been 3-0. My prediction was spot on. Look at that dominance, man. And with that, we do sit third. Three points off Leon at the top, but we're very much in the race. But it is quite close. Four points separate first and fifth. PSG making a comeback. And for our next match, we are back at home, the home of Monaco, as we host Clermont Foot. Should be back-to-back -back wins here. We are the heavy favourites. Same team as last. Hopefully, we can score some more goals this time. Would be nice. Amara. Adiemi brings it down beautifully. It's Adiemi. He might just go all the way here. He will. Adiemi! It's in! His first ever Monaco goal! Adiemi strikes! And it's an early lead for Monaco. His pace is a game changer. Honestly, I thought Martins was fast on the right-hand side. Eddie Emmy is a different breed of speed. It's a great finish as well. Perfect start to the match. Given away, Mbolo wins it. Well played. Very well played. Mbolo, he could be in. Turns. Mbolo. Come on, Mbolo. Really? Man, this guy, he should be he should be stronger than that, really. Chance, Clement Foot! Okay, that was close. Well, it's been a bit of a nothing game, to be honest. We've not really done much. Neither have they. It's been a pretty boring affair. Bang! Oh, unlucky! That was I wanted that to go to Mbolo, but it sort of worked, I guess. Nearly scored. 
Nice ball. Eddie Yimmy should grab that. He does. It's Eddie Yimmy. Still going, Eddie Yimmy. Still going. It's a beautiful run. Dinks it in. Martins. Oh, you've got to do better. You've got to do better. Eddie Yimmy is so good. What a signing. Nice win. Lovely win. How is it a... F oh, the fouls this game pissed me off, man. That's a well-earned win there. That's a good press. Nice win. Have a go from distance. No, that's just not even worth. I don't even know I went for that. And that's full time. Wonder when Eddie Emi's goal is the difference. I think defensively we're playing really well. I'm being very mindful of not overstepping, you know, sort of defensively. So it's working well that way. Again, it's just five shots. Five shots, not really any massive chance except the goal. It's got to do better. So we are going to be selling Wilfred Sonogo. He is a good player for us, but I want to bring in some more players. Simple as that, really. And we need the wage gone. Obviously, it's a decent deal, 25 mil. We do have a backup right back as well. So it's not that bad of a deal. All right, back into the action. Obviously, there's some transfer business happening in the background, but we'll have to find out what happens with that later. Montepellier, we've won a few games in a row. We're starting to tick along. We just got to keep it up, really. Uh, it's so open. It's so open. Chance for Montepellier. What the hell is that? What? Yeah, that works. I don't know how we got Mig there. <laughs> nice play. Here we go. Bit of space now. Thiago. Can he find the ball? It's a great ball to Martins. And Bolo, are you anywhere to be seen, mate? Good ball. Here we go. Nice play. Beautiful play. Fafana. No. Unlucky, but that's beautiful. Enrique with the ball in. It could be a ch Martins. Jesus Lord. If this guy could hit it, would be scoring for fun. He gets so many free hitters. That's poor. Nice. Can we find Mbolo? It's through. Mbolo's through. Mbolo with the chance. A massive chance for Monaco. Oh, piss off. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. How is Mbolo this weak, bro? It just doesn't make sense. Nice ball. Any of me? No, just difficult shot to hit, really. Halftime, nil all. I mean, Mbolo should do better. I don't know. This guy's got, like, insane strength, by the way. He's not supposed to be weak, but you see him getting bumped off the ball 24-7. That's really infuriating. Nice ball, Martins. Can you get the cross in early? Mbolo just can't get there. If the cross is a little bit ahead of him, it was on. Any of me, well done. Delivers a cross. Mbolo flicks it. No, unlucky. It's such a good save. Finally, Mbolo actually does something. Oh, what? Whatever. Silly Zoo. No, that may be red. That may, he may be gone. <laughs> he may be gone. Ah, uh, that is lucky. That is a red card. If he's given a foul for that, it is a red. We were just slightly mistiming it, but we'll take it. Hey, we'll take it. What? 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 What do you, what? The fact that Salazar doesn't get there first is a disgrace. And he's given that a foul. How is it not a yellow? Salazar is the luckiest man alive. I don't know how he hasn't been sent off. Like, come on, that's not a foul. That is just a ridiculous call from the ref yet again. Go on, Diata. Go on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yes, what on? What do you mean, ref? Bro. Huh? So he kicks me and it's a foul. He kicks me, it's a foul. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. Oh my lord, that was the last chance of the game. Full time nil all. Um, yeah, it was just one of those games. Nothing clipped up, nothing clicked up front at all. Defensively brilliant. I mean, well, Salazar should have got sent off. But other than that, defensively brilliant. All right, it is the final day of the window. And there's a little spoiler. Yao Paulinia is our main target because obviously we sold Zachariah last episode who was our starting defensive mid. So he is who we're going to replace him with, hopefully. Well, I'm looking at this. He has been our sort of second choice striker, but Belligan hasn't left. We were trying to sell him. No one offered. And Unum Berlin have offered a loan transfer 21 mil or basically 22 mil. So I think we're going to accept that. Let him go on loan to Unum Berlin and then Belligan will be our super sub. And with Yao Paulinia... He's being a bit of a prick, but we can afford him and we will sign him because we do need a defensive mid desperately. But his wages are very high. He probably will be the highest paid player by quite a distance at the club. But it is what it is. I mean, we've got 144 transfer budget, but only 80 salary, which is excellent. But we will sign him because he's a much needed player, which basically means unless someone else leaves now, we're not going to be able to sign anyone. 
but our pockets aren't bottomless. We must try to bring the, uh, down the asking fee. Not really. It's not the asking fee that's the problem. It's the bloody salary, mate. Oh my god. Yusuf Fafana, 84 rated. He has been playing defensive mid. He hasn't typically ever played in his actual natural role due to just having to fill in into areas that we were struggling with. 55 million is massive. And he is on 50k. We could potentially replace him, but I think I will negotiate and try to get more money. Because if he does leave, I'm thinking of either signing Xavi Simmons or Milinkovic Savic would be the two options. Both of their salaries, if we can we can have a look. Javi Simmons will be 56. Maybe, maybe be able to stretch and get him. Maybe. Milinkovic Savic, much more affordable. Only wanting 30k. We, you know, we could easily afford that after selling for Fana. I'm very tempted. I'm very, very tempted. So we're going to negotiate and just see if we can get more. I want at least 60. Well, his release fee is 58. So if they pay 58 mil, they can take him, I guess. And then we just got to have to hope that we can get it done. Which I'm confident on. I'm very confident. We'll just give them whatever salary the max is. And they've decided to pay it. Yusuf Fafana. It's been nice having you. So we should have two hours left or three hours left or something like that. Or that hasn't moved at all. Okay. That's awesome. <laughs> so I'm not sure who I want. Javi Simmons or Milinkovic Savic. I'm thinking that sentiment role we have is very much an attacking sentiment. It's not sort of... Like he is supposed to get forward. So I'm thinking Javi Simmons or maybe Thiago Almada may be able to slot in there well. But Milinkovic Savic is a very high rated player as well. But also Javi Simmons is young and probably can grow. In terms of value, they have exactly the same release fee basically. So that doesn't matter. Wage wise may be the difference. So we're just going to offer both of them and see what we can do. So the issue is we can only offer 56 for Javi because if we go over at 61, that's over our budget. So we're just going to have to give him some appearance fees and win bonuses and stuff and just hope that he bloody signs, to be honest. I didn't think about this, actually. So we could send... So we have five hours left. It takes two hours for the negotiations. So we could send Javi, see what happens. And then if it's not going to happen, maybe we'll have time for Milinkovic Savage. I'm really torn as to who we should actually sign, Javi Simmons or Milinkovic Savage. But we're going to send it through. I, I mean, Javi, you know, I've played with him a lot in a player career mode, so I, I like him. Okay, it's done, apparently. Yeah, okay, apparently Javi Simmons is in, apparently. Um, we got it instantly. Well done. Well done. Hey, negotiation king right here. So Javi Simmons signs. I think we should go. Yeah, I think I think we should. I think it'll be a good replacement for Fafana. So that will basically be our last thing of the window. We've only got an hour left. We're not going to be doing much more. I don't think we can do much more. There we go, Javi Simmons. I mean, his, his face looks like he's still 12, which is weird, but hey, you know, he's class. No way someone finally offered for Balogun on the last day, and we can't do it because we're not going to accept 22 mil. We'd like to negotiate it. That's really annoying. Like, come on, man. Where was this a week ago? We could have done something. Well, that's it. Transfer window is done. Couldn't do anything else, but I'm happy we got a defensive mid, which was crucial. I would have liked a striker to replace Balogun. Would have potentially liked another right winger to support Martins, but it is what it is. But now we have a stacked bench. I mean, we've got Minamino, we've got Diata, we've got Javi Simmons, got Golovin. Very good bench we have. I'm very happy with this. All right, here we go. Our first game with some new signings. Yao Paulinia, the starting defensive mid for today. That is the only change to the lineup of Javi Simmons on the bench. No more signings for the season. This team has got to do it. I mean, we could win the league. I I I'm feeling confident. Here we go. Space for Thiago to drive into. Plays it wide. That is shocking. You know what, Thiago? Javi Simmons may take your spot. I've not been happy with his performances recently. He's been weird. His passing is awful. Chance, chance, chance. Chance! Good save, Kipper. Seconds. Sally Zoo. Kipper, well done, Kipper. Beautiful from you. Nice build up. Enrique. Good run. Enrique, it's a great ball. And Bolo, where are you, man? Oh my god, it's been awful. It's been awful. The changes are happening. Halftime nil all. Dreadful. Dreadful. Tiago's coming off. He can't pass the ball. I didn't mean to click second half. Tiago, come on. Nice, Tiago. Great ball. Martins! No, that's an awful finish. What the That's to the fullback, man. I, I don't understand. I don't understand. The passing today has been abysmal. And he's picked it up instantly here, Javi Simmons. And he's away. He's getting fouled like crazy. It's a beautiful start from Simmons. In the Monaco colors, Martins is away. Do I have the option? Mbolo. Mbolo. Mbolo, get in the box, man. Jesus. 
Jevy. What the? Bro! Or maybe cross it into the box. What has happened? The passing this game has been all over the place. I don't even know who they're passing to half the time. Nice play. Nice play. Can you find Mbolo? It's a great ball. Mbolo, can you play it across goal? Yes, it's got to be! I, I can't believe that. I cannot believe he's missed. That is three points wasted. Three points gone. That has to go in. It has to go in, Minamino. Oh, I could have sold him on deadline as well. I decided to keep him. He's not repaid the faith. Nice pick up from Javi. Here we go. Last chance. Last chance. Nice ball. Javi Simmons could be in. He is in. Javi Simmons. There we go. The new man on the block does it. The number seven, Javi Simmons. His hair is all over the place, but it is what it is. Oh, my God. He's made up for Minamino's miss. Jesus. Beautiful play, though. Simmons just did it all himself. And that's the last kick of the game. Three points to Monaco. The defense is excellent. That is one thing I've got to say. The defense is incredible. Sally Zoo and Schurz are unplayable at the back. Absolute monsters. And we're here with a big game. A massive game away to Marseille. A few changes. Javi Simmons is starting. And I mean, I mean he deserves it. Thiago has been pretty underwhelming since he's joined. Javi Simmons makes a good run. And Bolo is just not making runs anymore. As soon as I'm about to cross it, I see him pulling off. Come on, man. Ball into the box. Jevy Simmons! What a signing! Two goals, two games! Jevy Simmons strikes from the corner. And the Marseille crowd are silent. Is Jevy Simmons, is he the key? Is he the key to unlocking this attack? The defense seems very, very good at the minute. And Jevy Simmons may just change our attack. Oh my god, really? Really? You had to wind up for that. Just play it over top, bro. And that's half time. 1-0 lead for Monaco. And I'm making a decision. Mbolo is being dropped. He is doing my utter head in. This guy runs away every time he's in a good position. He is getting subbed off. Eddie Emi's going to go up front. And we're going to bring on Golovin. Nice ball. Golovin. Nice play. It's beautiful. No, that was a bad finish from me. To Golovin, lovely. Adiemi, Golovin. Beautiful play. Enrique. Adiemi, surely. No, what a save. Enrique. It's a good set piece. Ball. It's in. It's Palinia. His first goal for the club. And Monaco score from two set pieces today. We've got a bit of an aerial supremacy now. We've got Salizu. We've got Schurz, who are big men. And now Paulinia as well, who's very tall, of course. Oh my god, Palinia, why are you running towards the player, man? Like, what is he doing? Oh no, that's poor defending. Jesus, Palinia, come on, wake up. Oh my god, Palinia, what's happening? Can't hit her, can't move properly. Chance, keep her safe hands. Jesus, that's all Palinia's fault. Jesus. I don't know what's happening defensively here. They're sort of half winning the ball. Palinia's hunting. Okay, that was poor for me. Chance! Great save, Keeper. Oh my god, don't run it out. Nice ball. Oh, Golovin's in so much space in the box. It's a decent ball, it's in! Golovin scores, it's free for Monaco. Finally, we get some goals, man. We've been sco we should be scoring way more than we do with the chances we create. And that's full time, 3 0 for Monaco. Comfortable win. Again, the defense is unplayable. What a turnaround a few signings has made for the defense. And Javi Simmons inspired the front line. And with that, we do slightly move up into second, but Leon are just insane, apparently. All right, back at home, we're playing Mets, and Mbolo has been fully dropped. Adiemi is taking the central role for today because Mbolo has just been really bad recently. Okay, I'm not sure how we haven't won the ball there. Chance here, Mets on the counter. Kipper, can you save it? Oh my God, Kipper. He's reborn. He's a new man. That's unbelievable save. Lovely turn, Jevy. Jevy, bang! It's a good save. Nice play. Enrique. 
Jevy Simmons at the back post. Eddie Yimmy flicks it on. Jevy Simmons! What the hell is that for a save? That is a that is amazing. That is absolutely amazing from the keeper. That's half time nil all. I mean, it should be winning. The keeper pulled off a ridiculous save. Absolutely ridiculous. Simmons, it's a ship pass. Simmons. Martins. Eddie Yimmy! No! That's Javi. Can you play Diata? It's a good ball. Who's in the box there? Is that Paulinia? Paulinia! No! He just missed. Can I change player? Oh, I don't know, game. I don't know. Maybe I want Eddie Yimmy to chase that. Come on. That is ridiculous. I don't know how we don't win that. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how. Dominance again. It's just like some games, the passing just goes to the shitter. <laughs> it's so weird. All right, we're back again. I feel like we're on like a 10-game clean sheet run or something. It feels so long since we conceded a goal. And now that I've brought it up, we're going to concede three. But we're traveling away to Nantes. And yeah, we just need Mbolo to start firing. Nice, Vanderson. Lovely ball. Why is Paulinia just in the box more than Mbolo? Paulinia, have a go. Penalty! What do you mean that's not a penalty? Ebolo, what are you doing? Got shooting. What the hell is happening? I've told him to shoot first time. I've told Minamino to shoot first time. Apparently it's a foul. I'm not sure how this is a foul. Oh, get up, you pussy. Oh my god, it's a dangerous ball. Thank Lord Kamara was there. Halftime nil all. No shots. No shots today. It's just really a roll of the dice whether this team wants to make the right pass or not. Sometimes they just lose the plot. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And Bolo is offside because it's just played too late. Oh my God, that was really well done. I tried to keep a hand on him. He was fast. It's a good save from Kipper. Oh, giving away. Nice. And Bolo into you. You flick it over. Golovin, can you get behind him? You can. Golovin, no! Oh, go to a Golovin. You could have kept it in. Yo, come on. Chance for another ball in. Enrique with the ball in. Why is no... Bolo! Make a goddamn run in the six-yard box. Why? Mara. Golovin. Mbolo. Play him. Beautiful. Golovin. Go to the ball and get a touch, man. Oh, my... Like, he's through and he just won't get a touch. Let it bounce, let it bounce, let it bounce. Oh, no way. No way they're through. Oh, Sally Zoo, that's brilliant defending. Absolutely clutch defending. Oh, my God, we nearly lost. Again, this has been frustrating, man. Mbolo is not playing as a striker anymore. He's like playing as a 10. No shots today. Uh, it's, it's unbelievable. Mbolo is just non-existent in our games at the minute. Oh, the lead it sends. I don't what a PSG doing, bro. In eighth place. That's excellent. And for our final game of the episode, it's been a pretty good episode, except Mbolo's annoying me. Stad Rene's at home to end the episode. And Mbolo hasn't been dropped. He's injured. So he can't play today. But Eddie Yimmy has gone up front. Oh, cross in. It's dangerous. Well defended. Kipper, you're asleep. Come on. The whole team's asleep at this point. Here we go. Martin's on the breakaway here. Martin's still going. Eddie Yimmy. Oh my god, Eddie Yimmy. You're not... Oh, that's a foul. Thank you. Bro, why is he not making that run earlier? I was waiting for it the whole time. I, I don't know. Shoot first time, Martins. Why does the... Why do players not do first time things in this game? I don't understand. You tell them to shoot first time, doesn't it? Nilo again. It's been shit again. Not even a shot. That is to Javi Simmons, bro. Go on, play it, Amy. Oh, great defending. Martins. Says to Javi Simmons again. Oh, my God. These guys just don't listen to what I'm asking. Seriously, they're passing it to everyone but the player I want. And Amy. Can we do this first time, please? Oh, it's a foul. Oh, this is annoying. Pass it first time. Diata driving. Beautiful from Diata. That's not to him. Lovely play, Minamino. That's to Jevi. Diata thinks it in. Bro, if that's to Jevi, he can score that. It is so infuriating. The last few games, 
The passing's been so off. Yes. Yes! Pass it! If you do that first... Wait, what has been given? A penalty? Oh, thank God. If he does it first time, it's a goal. But he takes a touch. It is so infuriating. Why do they never do first time things, man? First time that. And it is a goal. It's a clear penalty. I agree. I agree. And Emi steps up to take. For Monaco to win the game. It's in! Oh, my Lord. This team has been giving me aneurysm after aneurysm the last few games. It has been ridiculous. Oh, but Adeyemi saves us from the spot. Full-time Adeyemi saves our ass. 1-0 winners. But again, it's just like, in the final third, they just don't do what you want. Like, if you want a first-time pass, they'll take a touch. If you want a first-time shot, they'll take a touch. But we are four points behind Leon. We're definitely in the title race. PSG, I don't know what's happened to them, but uh, they're sitting eighth, which isn't exactly good. Defensively, we've been excellent. I don't remember the last time we conceded a goal. The last time we conceded a goal was the 23rd of December. Since then, we've been on a 10-match clean sheet run, which is ridiculously impressive. But that's going to be the end of this episode. Hope you all enjoyed. Like, subscribe if you did. And we're sitting second. There's a good chance to potentially win it all. We have nine games left of the season, so we'll most likely will finish it off in the next episode. That's going to be it. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you boys in the next one.